Oh. Holy shit, this is beautiful. Um. Not exactly what I would call it. Wow. Yeah. It would be beautiful if it wasn't filled with dead Beltas. That shape at the bottom, I recognize it from the coordinates. That's promising. Let me check the server for this sector, then I'll meet you down there. Oh no, I didn't want to go down. Guess I'm going down. Okay, here's something. The sector's thermo scanner reports biometric presence. There must have been someone here. Must have? Oh. They're still here. Coming down. No, stay back. Try to get eyes. Okay, who is it? Do we know them? Whoa. My name is Kamina Drummer. I don't know who you are, but... I know who you are! You're the pirate JP sent to take me out! Lousy in your scum! But you'll never find that sample! Maya! I see him. He has you pinned down. I'll try to direct you from up here. Okay. Okay. He's coming up on the... left! That's a lot of quick time events. Okay, he's flanking around to your left. You got him, but I don't think he's down. I've I lost visual. Okay. Maya. Wait, he's charging. Your left now. Oh, that one was tricky. Oh. Might as well take off his helmet and see who he is. Wrist terminal broken. And he was running low on oxygen. Oh, he was dead either way then. The hypoxia must have made him disoriented. He seemed to confuse you for someone else. JP? Wow. His oxygen was so low, I don't think he even knew who he was shooting at. This wrist terminal is too busted to search. There's a hand terminal over there. Must be his. Hmm. Wonder what this guy was doing down here. Let's look around. He was obviously here for a while. Maybe he left something behind. I wouldn't have made it through that firefight without Maya. I want to check up here because I didn't really get to look around. I want to make sure I got everything. How did they get everybody into those is my question. Sure, I'll have to end up over here anyways. Um, Mo, you're all the way over there. I'm back. Sorry about that. There's a message on here. You stole something from me. Luckily for you, 
My desire to see it return is greater than my desire for revenge. This will be your only chance. Say I was open to it. My partner has other ideas. We know. She's already contacted the UN and their Shinabi. Luckily, some pirates got to them first. Pirates? Are they? Don't worry about them. Just send me your location hmm. and hold tight. However you deal with your partner, my men will clean it up. <laughs> this is why I love Earthers. So this man stole the MK core. Brought it out here with his partner. His partner. Who must be around here somewhere. Maybe they have the core. True. Metics. I dug up my old grade school notes. According to the epidemi epidemiology professor, there was an earthly belter settlement at these coordinates that died out a century ago. Can you get us there? Let me know and I'll coordinate with my UNN contact. We will we'll grab you later to discuss. Strickland's been watching me so closely since the announcement. We have to move fast, Ray. His oxygen was so low, I don't think... This man worked for whoever made the MK core. So where's his partner? Hiding? Probably down there. I'm gonna assume his partner is down there. I'm going in, Maya. If I don't come back in about five minutes, please come and help me. The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie with the goat, and the children will lead them unto salvation. Future traveler, we lay our beloved children before you. If you be he healer, heal. If you be miracle worker, work. If you be passers, passer through, pass through and go in peace. The Casopia Collection. That is kind of, uh, I guess they were hoping that uh, an alien would come and, and save all their children. These ones are still alive because they were immune. Oh God. The first ones. The children. They're all children. It's a children's tomb. <sighs> it's kind of messed up. Okay, thank you. They buried their children <laughs> here first. Couldn't bear the thought of recycling them. Then they couldn't bear the thought of being separated from them either. Yeah. So here they are. Here they are. This coffin stands in memory of the first child children lost to the illness that ravaged our station. Their bodies were tragically recycled before our minds were awakened to our greater purpose. Although they are lost, we hold them in our hearts forever. So no, it's not necessarily that because they, they feel like they have a greater purpose. So these people stole the core and ran here. And they hid their prize. Yeah. In a fucking children's tomb. What the? Some of the first children born in the belt. And this is the fate they suffered. Yeah, that's true. They were abandoned, but at least they weren't forgotten. Here. What's that green? What do you think happened? Oh, it's a light stick. Let's find out. I think his partner shot him. Oh. I commence this diary for the benefit of a future, a future histories. 
I believe we are embarking on biomedical revolution, rivaled only by the advents of synthetic nitrogen and CRISPR. non sibi said omnibus. August 11th. I know this is the discovery of a militia, m millennia, but some of my fellow researchers have lost the plot. They all want to do... All they want to do is scale up the testing. Idiots. We have the potential to eradicate cancer, reverse cellular decay, bolster immunity against all infections. Must keep our focus. August 22nd. The situation has grown ten ten tenuous. Dresden appears to have lost all sense of process and property. Rumor is that he is pushing a cognition enhancement modifier on junior researchers as a means of advancement. If he tries that stuff on me, he will find an enhancement up his donkey. September 2nd. Ask Strickland what he knows about the other teams here. No response. I know we're not the only ones on this project. What research are they hiding? Would they be insane enough to develop it as a weapon? The data are clear. This thing can teach us so much about biology, but it isn't ours to control. September 27th. Dresden wants to talk about human testing now. What the F? I can't even begin, begin to account for the F ethical dumpster fire that presents at this stage. Maybe that's why he's busy with his enhancement lobotomies. September 8, 28th. The lab is being shut down, resources to be transferred to other projects. For what horrors I can only imagine how to respond. How to respond. October 1st. My credentials got me into the lab one last time. I took the core. I saw some of Strickland's new project. Two those people. October 2nd. I bribed a guard, Maddox, to smuggle out the core and get us off Fobi. Fabi. My contact at the UNN promises to set me up with a new research team somewhere no one can find us. October 9th. My dick's buddy dropped, off, dropped us off at an abandoned settlement. We were supposed to rendezvous with the UNN Urshanabi days ago. No messages, no response. What was I thinking? If the UNN can't handle this, there's nowhere safe. It must be destroyed. Maddox might protest, but I will convince him. He's a simple man, but not impervious to reason. Just need to find a furnace that burns hot enough. Looks like this scientist contacted the UNN, and they've sent over the Urshanabi. But they weren't able to stop the word from leaking out. Yeah. Confidential. Do not duplicate. All individuals handling this information are required to protect it from unauthorized disclosure, handling storage, reproduction, and disposition of the attached document must be in accordance with app applicable regulations. Designation MK Core Lab 27 Phoebe Station. It's clear that the sample is encoded with instructions, and that those instructions are unknown, perhaps unknowable. Exposure to human biomass seems to activate it, although exposure to other replication mechanisms have proven effective as well. Most attempts to break down the sample's molecular bonds, exposure to solvents, disinfectants, and freezing temperatures have failed. Exposure to high, to extreme high heat shown some effic uh, efficiency. Experiment 1, cellular explosion. Experiment 2, cellular wall degeneration. Experiment 3, cellular replication. Experiment was terminated early when replicant continued outside of expected parameters. Test subjects. Belter, unknown origin, 6 to 4 days, fatal. Abstract. The sample is highly transmissible and with, our, with proper exposure maintains a 100% infection rate. A great amount of biomass is needed in order to further understand the sample's encoded instructions. Experiment 1. Subject was exposed to the sample via cotton swab. Symptoms began within 3 hours. Subject was moved to exam room 4. Experiment 2. Subjects were exposed to the sample via cotton swab, then immediately put through to 
decontamination procedures. Subjects shown no symptoms immediately decontamination may be the may be effectively affected in event of accidental exposure to staff. Experiment three. Subjects were housed in exam room four with subject one. Transmission began within hours. Subject complained of distortion distortion, fever, and vomiting after four days, chest and stomach pain were the primary symptoms, and subjects showed a pronounced aversion to the station's overhead lighting. Hibernation ensued shortly thereafter. Interesting. Also, The MK Core isn't a treasure. It's a weapon. What kind of weapon? I don't know. Something alive. And fucking dangerous. I have compiled evidence to show why this substance presents such a novel set of risks. I now truly believe we may be looking at an eschatological event. I thought I could deliver this sample to the right hands and develop an antidote, but I underestimated many things. All that matters is that I destroy the sample and pray the same will be done to the rest of this cursed substance. Wow. So they stole the MK core and brought it here. But then our security guard turned on his partner and shot her? Mm-hmm. Seems right. Guess they stashed it before they had their fight. It's not in here. So the MK core is some kind of organism? Yes. I don't know. And neither do the scientists Well, I guess, study. I guess we don't know, yeah. And yet this company is pouring endless amounts of money into it. They're willing to kill to keep it secret, and now they're running human tests. Not humans. Belters. They don't even think of Belters as human. Fucking inners. They found a weapon they didn't understand, and they brought it out here to play with. That's horrible. Yeah. It's nothing new. Just like Anderson Station, the Le Guin, even these people, left out here to die. Just another chapter in the story. You're not wrong. Got something. Oh. Is there no body in there? Ready? I think there's no body in there. See, when I start playing this, I'm like enthralled and I want to play more, but I really should stop soon because of the storm. It's going to make my editing a lot harder. Oh, that's it. We MK found it. Core. And now we're going to destroy it. Seems like the right move. Because that thing is too dangerous. Way too dangerous. Hello? Oh. We'll reach full burn in about a minute. What are you going to tell the others? <sighs> it's too dangerous. We have to protect the belt. That we didn't have a choice. We can't sell a weapon like this, no matter how much money is involved. Yeah. Kamina, we do have a choice. Hear me out. Whatever this is, it could still be everything you need to help the belt. What if we kept it? As a weapon? Or as a bargaining chip? Call it what you want, but no one would mess with the OPA if they knew- The OPA doesn't work that way. It's a hundred factions with a thousand goals. The OPA would tear itself apart over something like this. Why are you so sure of that? 
You're talking like an inner. I'm talking like someone who knows the OPA. Okay. Who knows men like Doss and what they do to stay in power. But the belt may never get a chance like this again. You can't just take that away. You don't get it. You may have bounced around in zero G for a while, but you don't understand the belt. Is that going to be the hard choice? A choice of whether to keep it or destroy it? Hey! What don't I understand? Belters can afford to lie to themselves. We deal with things as they are, good and bad. And no matter what we want it to be, this... Is bad. It's as bad as it gets. Think about it. Not like a Martian, but like a Belter. From everything you've seen out here so far. How do you think this really ends for us? You're right. Let's do what we have to do. I'm gonna keep going. I'm enjoying this too much right now. If I finish the entire thing here, then I finish the entire thing here. Rayan! What are you doing? See, Baratna? Told you we couldn't trust her. Hand it over. Now. What? Are you working with them? And that? Oh. Arlen. Listen to me. That is a death sentence. You'll never be able to unload it without getting killed in the process. See, that's your issue. No faith in your crew. I already have a buyer on Ceres. Damn it, Arlen, you don't understand what you're doing. You always think you know better than everyone else. That's how you always end up here, yeah? I don't know what the fuck your plan is, but you can't just take over the ship and throw Drummer in the brig. No big airlock. What do you mean? Just got to head back to Ceres. And... Tincha! How long is the trip to Ceres? Huh? Oh. Two weeks? Three? You want to stay awake the whole time? Until we sell this thing, she'll be trying to take it back. Stubber or Walla. Never knows when she's lost. Oh my god. No, there has to be another way. As long as she's on board, it's still her ship. You think Maya and Virgil will take orders from us while she's around? Even the fucking pilot likes her. Okay. No. Let's do this. It's the only way to finish this. Take her to the airlock. Mm -mm. We're gonna end this right now. I'll hit you so hard that your bones will feel it ten years from now. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Um. Hold on a second. Can I copy my safe? Can I copy my save? I wanna I wanna copy my save. Can I can I not copy my save? I can't copy my save. Oh, okay.
I missed two logs, apparently, in the MK station. Okay, well, I'm going to stop this recording here, and we'll pick up next time. Uh, which is not what I wanted to do, but I'll, I'll pull it back up as we go here. Um, oh boy, that's fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!